All right, well, that was a pretty exciting bonus round we just had on Wheel of Fortune for the Xbox 360, but now, segment number three of my Easter special will get underway. And for this segment, we're going to be heading to the Nintendo Wii office to play Press Your Luck. And I did not, now the last time I played this game was uh, not too long ago. In fact, when I did my uh, 100 Weekend Celebration special for Zack. And that game was a win. And also, in that game of Press Your Luck, for the Wii that I did in my 100 Weekend Celebration for Zack, not a single whammy was hit the entire game. I'm not joking, not even one whammy. And I've got the video proof up on my channel if you want to see that. But in the meantime, they'll be taking on Sharon and Christopher in this game of Press Your Luck for the Nintendo Wii. From Television City in Hollywood, it's time to press your luck! Alright. We've got the questions. Our players need to write the answers to earn breed of horse. I'm in the second position. Smallest breed of horse, I think, is a Welsh. Let's hope it's good. All right. Is it Shetland, Welsh, or miniature? Player one says it's a miniature, and player three says your answer. Player three, a miniature. This is your answer. The right one. And the smallest breed of horse is a miniature. So players one and three each get a spin. I get no spins for that one. Let's go to the next question. What is the imaginary line that runs around the Earth between the poles called? Give us your answer. Um, the equator. We only have a few seconds. Let's hope it's good. These are the three possible answers. Player one, what's your answer? Is it the equator, line of middle, or the axis? Player one says it's the equator, and player three. Good says answer. it's the axis. The correct answer is and, equator. well guess what, that line's the equator. Spin Another spin for player spin one. For player I get two. some spins On now. I've got three of them. The definition of thousands of millions of stars together with gas and dust best befits which science term? Player one player buzzed in, answer is and she says you elliptical orbit. Answer. As always, is it carnivore, galaxy, or elliptical orbit? I'm going to say an elliptical orbit, good. and what does player, player three say? Is. Player three says it's a carnivore? What? Well, in any case, we've got news for all three of them. It's a galaxy. So no spins there. Let's go to the next question. Which pitcher has won 30 games in a single season? Do you have an answer for us? Uh, I'll go with Don Larson. Let's hope it's good. As always, Is it we have Don Larson, Denny McLean, or Al Downing? Player one, player one says that it's Don okay, Larson. This is your answer. Player and player three says it's answer. Denny McLean. And the pitcher that won 30 games in a single season, Denny McLean. So at the end of that question round, players two and three, no, players one and three, I'm sorry, each have two spins. I have three spins. Now we're going to turn those spins into dollars and hopefully avoid those whammies. We'll start with player one. And we're going to start with player one. No money, two spins. Good luck to you, player one. Will you spin or pass? Five fifty. So you're into some money here, and one spin to go. Five hundred. That'll take you to one thousand fifty as we go to player three. Two spins, no money. 
Stop at 650. And now player three is into the chips. Just $400 off the lead. One spin to go. Stop at 550. That'll take player three into the lead with 1200. And now it's over to me with three spins. Here we go. 250. Now I'm into the chips. Two spins left. 500. That'll take me up to 750. One spin to go. 400. At the end of the first round, player three has 1,200. I have 1,150, and player one has 1,050. So $150 separating first place from third place as we go to our second question. What is it said to be? When the House is representative of this meeting, what is it said to be? Uh, I'll say in session. Good answer. These are the is it three in session, answers. in recess, one, or on vacation? Player one, one says good. in session. Let's hear player player three, three says answer. You gain in session. Answer. So we all what say that's in answer. session, in and session. we are all right. Three spins for me, one spin for player one, one spin for player three. Let's go to question two. One spin. On to the next question. How many degrees are in a circle? Let's hear your answer. Uh, 360. Let's hope it's good. As always, is it the right, right answer? 360, 90, or 180? An player one, one says it's Let's 180. It's player three and player three is. says 90 good. degrees. The correct answer is 300. Well, guess what? It's 360 degrees in a circle. So three spins for me on that. Next question. Residents of Peru as referred to as what? Ooh, I don't know. Let's see if player Let's one knows. Hear player one's answer. Well, she Let's says Peruvian. As always, is it Peruvian, Perusian, or Do you have an answer? Correct. I'll say Perusian. This answer. Player three. Or Peru. Your Let's hope player three good. says it's Peruvian. The right answer well, is Peruvian. And residents of Peru are referred to as Peruvian. So player one gets three player spins. Three. Player three gets one spin. One spin. I get no spins because I got that wrong. Last question. When did Christopher Columbus discover America? Let's hear your answer. 1492. Okay, this is your answer. As always, is it 1492, 1847, or 1924? Player one, player one says... It's 1492, okay, and player three an says 1492 as well. And we are all correct. Columbus discovered America in 1492. So, for that question round, player three ends up with three spins. Player one ends up with five spins. I end up getting nine spins. We're going to turn those spins into money right now. We've reached the final round. Let's end strong. Now, we're going to start with player one because she has the least amount of money. Player three will go last because he has the most. All right. Player one, we start with you. 1,050. Five spins. Here we go. $500. 1,550. And a spin in this round, by the way, is worth as much as $5,000. $5,000 in a spin. Speaking of which... Okay, 65.50 into first place, four spins. 5,000 a spin again. Up to 11,550 and still four spins. And she's passing them over to player three, but we're not going to take those spins quite yet because we go to be with nine spins at $1,150. Here we go. A trip worth four thousand dollars. That puts me in the second place. Eight spins to go. Will you pass it along or spin? Another trip. Ninety-one fifty and seven spins left. What will it be? Spin or pass? Go back two. Go back two spaces to five thousand dollars and a spin. Fourteen thousand one fifty and just like that, I'm in first place. A thousand dollars and a spin. Fifteen thousand one fifty. Will you spin or pass? Another trip. A value of four thousand. Nineteen thousand one fifty. And I have six spins. Oh no! Nineteen thousand dollars plus gone. But I still have five spins. Twenty-five fifty. 
twelve fifty. Let's see if I can wrap that back up. Advance two spaces to a trip worth four grand. Fifty-two fifty. Three spins. Another trip. Ninety-two fifty and two spins. Just 300 off the lead, one spin left. And now I'm in the lead. 15,250, and now we'll go over to player three. Four spins that he has to take, and here comes the first one right now. Ready to spin the board. 500, that'll take you up to $1,700. Three more spins you have to take, and here comes your next one right now. And it's a whammy. Well, we'll move those remaining spins to the earned column. Stop at a trip worth four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars, four spins, one whammy. Five hundred and a spin. That'll take you up to forty-five hundred dollars. Still four spins. Six hundred. Fifty-one hundred, three spins. Twenty-five hundred. That'll take you up to seventy-six hundred. You've got two spins to go. A trip worth four thousand dollars. You're now in second place with eleven thousand six hundred dollars. One spin left. Now, here's the situation for player three. He trails me for first place by three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. Therefore, he will need something with at least that much or something with an additional spin in order to stick around here. He has one spin left. What is going what is he going to do with it? Well, let's find out right now. He's going to pass it to me. So if I avoid the whammy, then I win the game. And if I hit a whammy, player three wins. Get ready to spin the board. I just got to avoid hitting that whammy. This spin decides who the winner's going to be. Oh, no! I hit a whammy. And player three wins the game. Oh, man. So close. Oh, I cannot believe that happened. Oh, dear. <sighs> well, you know what, folks? Easy come, easy go. I walk away from that game with no money, but oh well. See you for the next segment.